have a yard sale. All it takes is some advanced planning and a little psychology to unload all your junk in a yard sale. You will need poster paper and markers, card tables, plastic grocery bags and cardboard boxes, a cash box and small bills and coins to make change, an extension cord, and a mirror. Optional, a classified ad, a clothing rack, and refreshments. Step one, get as many friends, neighbors, and relatives to participate as you can. The bigger the sale, the better everyone will do. Step two, advertise your yard sale a few days ahead of time by putting up clearly marked signs with the date of the sale on them in thick black lettering that can be read from a car. Place the signs every 50 feet or so with arrows. If you're selling a lot of stuff, place a classified ad in the local paper or post an online ad on Craigslist. If you're taking out an ad, be specific about some of the stuff you're selling, like toddler size boys' clothes or exercise equipment. Step 3. Assemble as many card tables as you can. Items sell better if they're neatly displayed as opposed to strewn on the lawn. If you're selling clothes, hang them from a clothing rack. Step 4. Spruce up the items you're selling as best you can. Shiny knickknacks and clean pressed clothes will sell better than stuff people are afraid to touch. Use pretty ribbon to bundle loose items. Step 5. Start accumulating grocery bags and boxes. People will buy more if you make it easier for them to carry off their purchases. Step 6. Take everything you want to get rid of that you can't imagine anyone paying for and put it in a carton clearly marked free. Stick it in a prominent place near the curb to attract passers-by. If you have a lot of toys, put them in a take one free box for children. Step 7. Keep at least $50 in coins and small bills in your cash box so you can make change. Step 8. Figure out what you want for an item and then mark it up a bit. People like to haggle. A good rule of thumb is to charge a quarter of the original cost for items in good condition. Do a little sleuthing. You don't want to sell a candy dish for 50 cents and then find out it was worth $500. Check your prices against online auction sites like eBay. Step 9. If you're selling electric items, snake an extension cord from the house so people can test the goods. Step 10. Have a mirror so people can see how hats, scarves, jewelry, and such look on them. Step 11. Group like items. Kitchen stuff on one table, tools on another. Step 12. Put out refreshments. Providing coffee, lemonade, and cookies will most likely pay for itself by encouraging people to linger longer. Step 13. Be flexible about prices, especially as the day winds down. Do you really want to lug all this stuff back inside your house? Did you know? The world's longest yard sale takes place every summer along a 630-mile stretch from Ohio to Alabama.